Привет, Соверижес! Welcome back to the Lord Bracket. My name is Aspec, and I will be taking you through all the amazing play that we got going on here on the stream. Who are you? <laughs> um, Buck20. All right, Buck20, what's going on, man? Good, thanks. Just yeah. came out of the winning bracket for finals. Yes, I saw, actually. Yeah. I, hey, it, was, uh, it was quite nice, to be quite honest. Uh, all, 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 out of sheer curiosity, what have you guys been doing in the last, say, 30 ish minutes? I'm um, just sit, sitting around watching 1v1 between mm -hmm. Baxter and Gunnar. Fair and uh, also like, watching the last game of, the, of Katrina versus Enigma. Mm -hmm. it, it went down to game five, which no one really expected, but uh, the French guys actually pulled it off. Mm -hmm. And they won. Like, Talik went like, off with a sniper at the end. He got eight headshots, I think, towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of an upset, and hopefully they can take some games off, off uh, Western Wolves now. All right, fair enough. We'll, we'll try to get in towards this game. And what we'll be doing, like, I'm, like, sometimes, like, you know, when, like, a, like, when, like, a caterpillar, like, turns in towards a puppet, like, a, what's, what's it called? What are those things called? Butterfly. No, 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 yeah. before that, between, between that. Like, they go from a, they go from a, from a caterpillar into... Like a larvae. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Well, I'll go through a magical <laughs> transformation, perhaps. And we'll evolve into something else. So let's go into this matchup and see how this is gonna go down. Best production is stand still because they're too busy taking pictures of me because <laughs> apparently this is important. So, uh, <laughs> A-Spec uses Harden. There we go. But uh, we're ready to go into this game as uh, we are definitely... As we are definitely, apparently, we're still setting up. Uh, the, uh, f that better than the WW Fudge Packer. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. That'd be funny. So how's your brother doing, by the way? Um, he's doing pretty good. Like, I think most people expected him to play well at this event. Mm -hmm. And most people expected me to play badly. Like, uh, most of the interviews beforehand for this, for this event, most people said I'd be the weak link. The weak link? Yeah. Is this because you've been going to the gym too much? Uh, or? Maybe. I've just, I just been, like, I'd kind of neglected playing online and practicing because I don't like playing online that much. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, it, like, like we've gone through stages where it, both of us have been like the better twin or the better buck. The, the better yeah, twin. The better buck, it's yeah. like who's got the better genes, that sort of thing. Yeah, but like uh, recently he's been known as like the player, like the buck who's always always played well, whereas I've been having some bad games or bad events. Fair enough. Uh, overall, though, coming in towards this event, you gentlemen have been doing fairly fine, to be quite honest. Getting in towards that grand final, uh, even it, like. Right now, at this point in time, if you have to choose versus the teams that are currently in the lower bracket, who would you prefer to see in um, that actual in that grand final with you guys? I would like to see SK because we've got three no advantage over them already towards the grand final. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to play Western Wolves again because we're kind of like rivals and there's a lot of rivalry between us, especially yep. like us and Baxter, and even MVP. Like we're all like teammates, most of us. So we mm -hmm. like we've been around for a long time and we all we all want to beat each other so much. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and the French the French guys will be good to play against, but I just can't see them beating both Western Wolves and 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 SK as well to get to the grand final. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, definitely something to look forward to, and I'm actually quite looking forward towards a grand final. So I already talked towards uh, talked to Xander earlier on to see what would be going on there on that on that front when it comes to actual like map advantage and yeah. that sort of thing, and how long it's going to take. And Xander already was said like, look. Look, you guys. Oh, oh my God! I have turned into a beautiful A spec. <laughs> As uh, pretty much what he said was going on there is that uh, he he don't he doesn't want to have players leaving the venue at like 3 a.m. in the yeah. morning when there's no longer any trains going on anymore yeah, or any cabs bad, yeah. or anything <laughs> like that. So that's that's pretty crucial for him. So he wants to lock everything down as soon as possible. Something around 11 o'clock local time. It's a Saturday. Uh, the bars and that sort of thing don't get rolling in Amsterdam till about uh, till yeah. about 1 a.m. Uh, when are you guys flying out? Uh, we flying on Monday, so we've got fair a whole enough. Sunday as well, yeah. You can get a whole Sunday of kicking yourself out of that hangover. Yep. So that that is absolutely perfect. So um, right now, though, let's see how this is going in the actual game. Your predictions for this particular game? Um, I would say three one to Western Wolves. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it may be free to to make because the French guys are good and they can go get really like if they catch fire, especially Talik, he's a, he's a really sick sniper. Mm -hmm. So if he starts catching fire, they could win maybe one or two games, but it all depends on Talik, I think. Like he's mm -hmm. the main person to look out for. Exactly. But you guys already managed to smash your way through these guys. Yeah, we beat them 3 0 in the winning bracket round three, I think. It, it was, was 3 1, yeah, actually. Uh, yeah. yeah. We, we did actually the commentary. I got you there. That's yeah. trying to brush yourself up a little bit more than it was. 
Uh, yeah, actually, that was that was quite an interesting matchup to be to be quite honest. Yeah. Even though um, it was a little bit uh, Shaky, pain, painful yeah. up from what it went at end, but uh, don't worry, I always make sure that I'm entertained. <laughs> so it's all good. I'm all. Good. One big question actually is Behemoth. Do you think he's gonna be as terrible as he was versus you guys? Because he th he has managed to get towards this stage and towards the tournament. Yeah. So there's definitely per there's probably some improvement on that behalf. But he was pretty much slaying like pretty badly throughout yeah, the first I think he's, match. I don't think he's used to playing this this kind of level of competition. Mm -hmm. Like he's, he's he's a French player, so he's been to French lands before. But he hasn't been to that many European events. Like, mm -hmm. I think this is the second one I've seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen him at. So, so the the French scene is a little bit isolated compared yeah. to what's the rest I of mean, the world. I mean, there are good Europe. players, but they just maybe not know your style, play styles, or how. Yeah. So, but he's he's gradually getting used to it, and he played well against Enigma. So, kind of, you're saying like there's France, there's Europe, and there's MLG. That's basically what you're saying. Um, uh, yeah, you could say that. Kind yeah. of like yeah. that. Yeah, fair enough. See, bombs being dropped. <laughs> As uh, let's see whether or not we can actually get underway in towards this matchup somewhere in the near future. Can we go for, actually, uh, yeah, we're currently set up. Can we go towards uh, room cam, please, inside the actual uh, in, inside the actual venue? That'd be nice. There we go. Uh, it is currently around, well, it, it's been dinner time for a while now, so all these players are currently already back. They have been uh, making use of the uh, facilities here. Oh, people are looking back already, so <laughs> they know something's up. And one of the players is standing up and walking away. Yeah. He better not be going <laughs> towards the bathroom because that would be slightly annoying and the admin does not approve of that sort of thing happening. It looks like Zaris is going to be coaching Western Wolves for the series mm -hmm. after his team got knocked out by, by um, the French guys last last mm -hmm. series. So hopefully he's trying to get some payback, mm -hmm. trying to coach Western Wolves to a win. <laughs> well, Western Wolves are definitely uh, a very good team to uh, to watch so far. Even though, in all honesty, the, uh, the game that you guys played versus SK was probably one of the more... Um, action-packed matches that has been yeah. seen so far. So we had a lot of action going on, especially on King of the Hill. A lot of pushing constantly yeah, going on. Yeah, that's a good on. game to have. There's, there's a lot of action that constantly because mm -hmm. it's fighting for the hill constantly. Even though the the spawns are sometimes a little bit yeah weird, but you can't do anything about that. It's just mm -hmm. the game. <laughs> exactly, exactly. As uh, let's see what we can find here. Let's see, can I find anything? Uh, nothing. Talix of Beast apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're talking about Pokemans <laughs> in the stream. Ah, well, that's fair enough. That's not really important. But uh, yeah, pretty much we're ready to go on the way, guys. If you're at home here and you want to find and you want to win yourself a, a mouse mat, you can do that as well. Because uh, my production team has been like, "Yo, man, we got this stuff. Like, you want to give this away?" I was like, "Yeah, man, it's awesome." So win yourself a mouse mat. It's pretty cool. It's like I know we know your console players and all, but mouse mats are like overall cool. You can even even if you don't want like play, you do your mouse, like, yeah, you put your controller on the mouse, man, just, just like that, so you can, like, like, you roll it up, put your arms on it, you won't get, like, wrist pain or that sort of thing, so that is pretty much the end of that. What you got to do, go to Facebook.com, use the slash, and then Chaos TV. There's a post on that page saying, like me for the win, or win this mouse, man, that sort of thing. Click on the like, drop a comment. And you will maybe, maybe win yourself a mouse map. So have you done that yet? No. I've done that. My Wi-Fi doesn't work, so. No, that's a bit of a yeah. shame. We'll, we'll have you log in towards my laptop okay. later on. Yeah. We'll just make sure that you can. Kind of fix this how I win it as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. Sure. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to win it. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, I, oh, this person seems really nice. I think he should win, that sort of thing. Yeah. But that's not really, not all that fair. Let's be honest. That's not cool. We're ready to go into this game. We are finally back on track on this lower bracket semi-final. The other lower bracket semi-final is currently also being played on the other hand. And that right there should be quite interesting. It is the Western Werewolves. Yes, I just say again. And uh, I, I do think that they should just call themselves yeah, it sounds, Western. It sounds, it sounds, sounds better. Cooler, yeah. Yeah. It's like Western Wolves. <laughs> so, so tame. Let's get underway. We are on Zealot and we are flickering. And we are on a damage key, actually. And I'm kind of underperforming so far, to be quite honest, on uh, Western Wolves. I was very, very surprised so far, even though, like, overall, like, normally you'd expect him to perform really, really well. And he's actually Play. looking to see Rock. if he can. Play. One of the enemy Dolan. players, where they're going to be going, and Play. like, hey, do you have any opinions so far? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, like Adams, the replacement for Blackjack for mm -hmm. his team, so I think he's got a lot of pressure on himself to try and play well. 
But um, yeah, most people have said that he was a weakling for, for um, Western Wolves this event. And mm -hmm. so far, he hasn't really proved people wrong. Like in our series against him, he didn't ex exactly play that that well. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just hoping that he can step up towards the finals. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping that it should be an interesting, interesting game. Um, have you, you guys have not met Western Wolves yet? So um, no, we, yeah. yeah, we have. Yeah, you have. It was three one. Yeah. It was three one in that game uh, where they won on Team Slay. Uh, no, not Team King Slayer. Of the Hill. Nexus. It was King of the Hill. My apologies. Yeah. And they only picked up. Let's see about. One, two, seven points. No, six points in total. Four caps and two wins. Yeah. So that's definitely. Uh, it's a little bit eh on uh, that perspective, even though you guys managed to play. They're a good team, them. but we were playing really well, I think. Mm. And we should have really won the game three, but they managed to edge it out at the end. Because I think uh, if like MVP is one of the like smart play smart players in the team. And he managed to get the team to win at the end. Indeed, as Ndamski has himself the grenade launcher, he has himself a flag, and he picked himself up a double kill earlier on. Two of his players on the support. Oh, almost gets attacked, doesn't matter. There's two support players right there, unless we can get... Oh, that's two players already down. MVP is still standing together with Baxter. Are they going to get the return? It's going to be really difficult because both flags are now away. They need to return it. Can they manage to do so? Talix there in the support. This is a French team are going to do a counter cap. Yeah, this is a very, very aggressive play right here. They were so close to cap as well. And all of a sudden, well, we do have a, a pickup here by Western Walls. Picked themselves up a single one. And KFR trying very hard. Both teams have, 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 have each other's flags on their flag spot, but they're just trying to cap at the moment. But it seems like Western Wolves are like, they're playing a lot better. They get, got better map control compared to uh, KFR. But, and the tank needs to get a sniper and start ripping heads. <laughs> Behemoth on the wrong end of the nade launcher. Oh, <laughs> that's the second time he's done yeah. that. <laughs> Even though it's, uh, I, don't, I don't understand how people can actually press that button when they're it's playing. It's like, arr, yeah. arr, I flicked your thumb <laughs> growing out of the side of my hand. That sort of situation, yeah. pretty much. The flag, however, is away. The pressure is on the... <laughs> Wolves team again. I wanted to say werewolves. <laughs> I'm really. I'm going to have to send an email to the Lions. Yeah. Uh, to the Lions uh, management, just to say, just bring in the yeah, team. Just Make idea. it easier yeah. on me, please, because like nobody cares about <laughs> West where wolves. It's all about werewolves. It's much cooler. Yeah. You can see the whole of Western Wolves pushing into the other team's flag right here. The French seem to like. They seem to like it down low a lot more compared to the Western Wolves, which is keeping map control. Mm -hmm. So far, the Wolves have managed to pick themselves up, too, holding themselves steady. Let's see if Adamski can actually pull himself in towards a decent position here, because there is yet... He's expecting, actually, a couple of pushes coming up out from the bottom, but it's just Renox at the long. There it is, a little bit in the late, and the blackout comes up, knocks him out. And this is time for, for uh, the Wolves to go back towards the drawing board, as they have a little bit of time there. Yeah, two down right now for the Wolves, and they're going to have to go back to and get ready for Flag the power weapon run. to spawn. Snipe should be up soon. Flag taken. Flag stolen. Flag dropped. Flag dropped. Flag dropped. See, back to taking out Renox right there with a sniper. Like, if, they, if the French get the snipers, then they could be in for a good game, but if they don't, then I can see them struggling. As you can see, all the, all the French players are sitting down around ring two and ring one. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's not the place to be to try and get caps. It's good to be annoying right there, but then you're not doing anything. You're just getting kills. There's a difference, yeah. Again, we've said it so many times before. Oh, Adamski could have been on an absolute rampage there. Gets the uh, recharge now as well, and he's on, well on the way to possibly chain this flag and with the grenade launcher into one, two. Hello, Behemoth. Uh, Never mind. And he will go down, but the flag cap currently is at three to nil. Remember, the flag cap max. Pistol's doing a lot of objective for his team. He's got three caps, whereas his teammates have none. So I guess he's the one that's getting into their base, grabbing the flag and running it straight back. Well, it's also a question of the rest of the team supporting Yeah, I think Pistol. Ad Adamski's doing a good job right now, just mm. staying alive, putting pressure on the spawns. Very strong utility play here. He knows there's somebody going to be around this corner right here. Let's see. Ah. Even though it's... Ooh, that's a grenade launcher. Greenox has that one covered. And that right there is a real shame. Every single time, the Wolves really fall back towards the base, and then they just swarm in yeah. in order to get the kills. 
and they're really focused on the objective rather than the kills, and that right there is exactly what they need to, should be doing. I Look at this push. At, we're looking at the series in terms of just, they just want to get over and done with so they can play SK. Mm -hmm. They don't see the French as like a kind of like a good good, oppo good opponent to play against. A warm up, yeah, warm yeah, up team. Of. Yeah. But at the same time, they can't really overlook them. The French are going to be trying their hearts out because they like, they've never got this far in, the, in this tournament before. Or they never ever well, well maybe well, in a French like, tournament. In KFR, but... like they're seen as like maybe like the second best team in France, from what I know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, exception in uh, exception, Sind and Zanky are the best French players apparently mm -hmm. in, in France. Are they are they looking to go to EGL as well? Um, yeah, I think so. I'm guessing after this performance, then they'll probably go. Mm. But like for, uh, since like I'd say about say Taylor too, like exception and his and his friends have been like the best players in France. But it seems like Blackout and uh, Talik have just to kind of that upset them. Hopefully, they could be a better team. Mm -hmm. Talik, in the meantime, though, is uh, pretty much. Well, you can look at the stats right now. That's a bit of a shame. But that, oh, that Amski doing exactly what he needs to do. Falls down, and Behemoth finally managed to pick himself up a kill right there. We have ourselves seven minutes of game played so far. Actually, six and a half, but that's just you know, semantics. It's really, three down, three down, down. Moves, yeah. three down, three down. They're gonna need to. There was an opp There was a big opportunity there for Katrina to actually do something. Yeah, three down there, not actually do anything. Not finally, get, the flag yeah, is get, away. Yeah, they're gonna get that capture. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Opportunity taken. See, they're putting up a fight. They're not just gonna go down easy. They, they seem like a really like a French tech guys. They don't really care who they're playing against. And to be honest, they're quite arrogant, so I can see them doing well. well. They have got themselves more than enough time to come on the comeback. Blackout really bouncing back and forth between cover while Damski is taking them under heavy fire. But one of the... There we go. Blackout finally coming out. Has his shields recharged. Some bad shooting by Adamski right there. Uh. He's going to need to wait for the rest of his team to come by. He can't solo this. Reinhardt's oh. nice little one-on-one. -on -one. He's got to stop the flag. The flag's running towards him right now. Yeah, he's going to be sneaky, I think. Maybe for, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's in a really, that flag is bad, down in a really bad position with a big open gap. They won't be able, it's going to be difficult on that return, but he's just going to control the side. landing now and just make sure that, that, that he's watching the spawns. He just sees that they spawn ring too, so he's going to trap the shots. Again, two down for the Wolves. We're not seeing any consistent pushes from the French team at all. Just the one time. Oh, okay, no, Behemoth is trying it now, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Talik about to go. Well, he's heavily she heavily down. Or at least heavily tagged. Behemoth! Flag down, and that's almost the inches away from the post. Talik needs to do this. He needs to pick it. He does. Very close. Still, though, think they're going to come back? Um, it's always Play. possible, but Rob. I think Western Wolves are the kind of team, like, even if they go down Play. by a few caps, they will end Go up winning it. eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, there's still a lot of rounds after this. I'm really wondering what were we going to be seeing in the stats department afterwards. See. I would see that, say, Talik and Renox would be the guys going positive for, for their team, mm -hmm. whereas uh, Bem Bemoff and, uh, I think, Blackout, Play. they'll be doing the objective. But I don't know. That's that's what I think when I when I think of the team. But I guess we're, whoever's in the best position, really. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see how that pans out. Adamski ready to go on the defensive there on the long, trying to get the landing under control. Gets one on Behemoth on the flank. There we go. This should be a flag pickup right now. Nope, never mind. Nate's fly in. That's going to be the end of that. As uh, Renex will finish him off with the headshot. Ten, five minutes remaining of in-game time with two men down again for the Wolves. The game same is going on on the French side, so that's definitely not looking good. It's it's a bit of a seesaw battle right now, back and forth. You, you could argue that Western Wolves have been like they've been doing nothing for a few hours, so mm. they need to warm, warm up a bit. That's yeah, true. true. And the but French guys just came out for like the best of five game, like game five game against the Enigma, so they're gonna be really warmed up. The three two up though. Yes, but most people would have thought that Western Wolves would be five in these guys. That's a good point. Maybe they'll just need this particular map to warm up a little bit. Put their fingers yeah. in a bit of warm water, <laughs> ready to go. Mm. Damski sees Renox, finds Renox, takes him down. Can to see if he can find himself on, on the woods of respawn. The flag is down, and there's the snipe, there's the first. Can he follow up with the second? There's one on Renox, second. 
taken down, but it was sadly not enough. Hello, Behemoth. Oh, Ooh, unlucky. Whatever. There we go. Behemoth should be dropped by that as uh, the screen drops. And Renox once again, Nade on the follow-up at a DMR. Not going to be enough. Metallic as well. Right. Absolutely great play by Adamski. Is he going to take down Blackout? Or is he going to DMR him down? Not going to be the case. And look at this. Constant and exquisite play by Adamski. Using both the DMR and the Snipe. And finally going down as Commentator's Curse. Rares its ugly head. It's now free down for Western Wolves. MVP spawn in basement. But he might be able to get away with great with the flanking round and stopping the flag. Mm. So far, last time this happened, the Katrina team went for a full-on push. And they should have should do that right now as well. Water is still two down for the Wolves. Yeah, they definitely got this cap. I think there Western, it is. Western Wolves didn't try to overextend later. They didn't want to give them much map control. They just let them have it because they, they, they knew they knew they were 4-2 up, and they knew they would still be winning afterwards. Mm -hmm. Behemoth pushing to a corner. That's pretty bad. Oh. Mm, unlucky on the flank there. Adam should have stayed behind the top mid then and mm. stayed alive. But had no shields. Yeah. He should wait for his teammates to just let them finish the kill. But Flag I think he got a bit team. impatient. Flag drop. We have ourselves three minutes and 20 seconds remaining with a one cap needed here by the team from the Wolves. Adamski is firmly sitting on top, his, top of his flag. Oh, Renox tries to go for a quick head peek, but not going to be the case. As, no, again, three down. Three down, Mandamski's last man standing. Uh, As, uh, again, this issue, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> Two and a half minutes remaining, I would not be surprised if the French team somehow pulls it back again. Baxter got a double kill with grenades right there. That is a really good play. Mm -hmm. Behemoth will again dropped in. This could be four man down for KFR. If Renox was down here. This is going to be annoying. I think Trent's staying alive in the basement. Oh, he got, he got taken out. Mm -hmm. And this could be the push that we've been waiting for. The Wolves need this. Blackout is just on the respawn. Nate's flying in on top of the flag spawn. Or are they going to try to run in up from the platform? That's too dead. Yep. He's low health, he needs to wait, there's the recharge. Taken. And the flag is on its way, what could possibly flag be the last run, run here. It's, this should be a cap. Flag. Taken. Unless Talik can say against something against it. No, that's definitely a cap. Flag. Taken. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Flag. Oh, it's right on top of the post. Taken. And uh, still not being capped. As the flag is still waiting to return. Talik getting absolutely demolished. Renox going in there as well. Double kill comes in. That's going to be a red flag return. And there we uh, have it. 5-3 is going to be a writing down for map number one here on Zealot. And nicely done here. Even though in the last second, complete and utter pandemonium descended yeah. on, on top of that flag post. Look at this. Minus 9 for Renox. Minus oh, wow. 7 for Talik. <laughs> completely the opposite yeah. of what you thought it was going to be. I'm just going by the names. Like I'm not going by like how they play, but mm. it's like Renox and Talik are like, the most known players that I know from France out there to yeah. out that team. Still though, in the first time I've seen so far, Behemoth actually uh, yeah, positive. Yeah. Two up. Uh, compared to MVP with plus eight and Adamski with plus five. Not bad at all. Picking up 20 kills through that. Assists, though. 13 assists by Talik. Very, very nicely done. Even though minus seven, so we can pretty much balance that one yeah. out. Uh, the assists as well from Adamski and Pistol. Quite nice. And uh, the flag runs were there as well. So sublimely played. And it went all the way down to the wire. Was quite surprised by Katrina's comeback there. Yeah, they put up a good fight. Like, I, I think if anybody on the stream that's watching would think that Western Wolves should be beating them 5-0. Mm -hmm. But they're just showing that some, like, it doesn't matter how what team you are. Like, if you put, put in the effort and actually like, try your heart out, then you can actually get some caps against the best teams. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm just, right now, we're getting ready for our next map. It's going to be Team Slayer. What do you reckon what map it's going to be? I'm kind of I'm kind of inclined I to I think it might be go. Pit. Pit, yes. Could be Pit. I haven't seen it in a while. We actually, we saw Pit in the previous oh, yeah. map, for us at least. That was I'm actually that was SK versus Enigma, oh. and uh, SK managed to pick that one up on towards Team Slayer. I think the score was actually something like 50 to 34, something along those lines. So that's a fairly decent score yeah. from SK. But I'm really, really interested in how this is going to pan out with Katrina 
versus the Western Wolves here live on your screens. This is Reflex GT8 Season 8, that is. It's Halo Reach, and we are in the lower brackets. So pop it right off the bat, and the rush is on for the power weapons. Oh, and Renox is going to get the snipe. In the lead. No, that's the Rockets, man. The rockets oh, my apologies. <laughs> Lost the lead. As, uh, the real question is, where are the Rockets now? Well, I think yeah, they are right there. there. Yeah. They're just going to try and like a kind of like, be, be the Rocket guy's bodyguard, make sure he can get some kills and don't, don't waste them. Like a lot of teams you'll see, like they, they're really passive with the Rockets, but they make sure to get every single kill and make it count. I don't know who got custom for either team, but him, I think he got burnt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Custom spawns. Outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's yeah. bad. Normal. They yeah. use this, the rockets. Yeah, the way it depends what games I'll be playing on. Yeah, it's one of exactly. That, that's yeah. the one I'm confused. My apologies yeah. about that. And uh, first, see so you can yeah. you can see Adam just like pretty much just like holding hands with him, making very, sure that he just doesn't die the rockets. Very passive play as well right yeah. now from both sides. We haven't seen any kills in the last bit. They're neither, just waiting. Neither team really wants to give a, give away a big lead because it's quite hard to come back on this game tab. Mm -hmm. Talik will be taken down there. Very nicely done on that flank. And still very passive play here. It's four to five. And this is very paranoid play almost. Almost thrilling play. I just don't know where the French are hiding. I can't, like, they must all be up. They must have the surrendered. Yeah. <laughs> just waving the white flags around. <laughs> <laughs> that joke never gets old. <laughs> In the meantime, yeah, they're, on the t they're on the top uh, top balcony. Western Wolves need to get a jetpack or something, or maybe two, and just try and get up top using jetpacks. Renox right there. That shouldn't be a finish off. As Talik once again goes down. The rockets are still being poured. Snaps up as well. I think uh, pistol has snapped. Yep. Some really long range shooting with that DMR right there. It's still 5 to 7 in favor of the French team. But have not come out of, comes out of nowhere. And oh, never mind. And uh, he flies off once again. Meow, that's right. Very, very slow pacing right now, with both teams really not wanting to yield any ground to each other. I think Western Wolves are kind of like, they are paranoid, like you said, because they lost the Slayer game to, uh, I think it was, uh, um, I don't know, it was some G the German team they played earlier. They lost the Slayer game, this, ex this exact game type. The DZS, you mean? Yeah. I think it was 50-48 yeah, or something. It was yeah. a close game, so I think they're just trying to make sure they don't do that again. In the meantime, though, 11 to 11. It's even Stevens once again, and that's going to pressure things on slightly. I would not be surprised. Rockets are, the rockets are up, but I think Western Wolves can have them again. Now they, have, they have taken control of the actual area, so they but should. They haven't got a good lead, though. Leader. You'd, be, no. you'd, you'd think with the, with the, they've had two rockets, so that's like four every rockets in each, in each rocket, so they should have eight kills with that. I think, I think it's a case of every single time the French know that the rockets yeah. are in the hands of the... They're uh, hiding somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> It's like they know, it's like, it's yeah, like your tiger, yeah. like, yeah. Our Manio line is nothing against your tiger, basically. It's like we're going to hide over here. Ooh, nicely played there by Adamski. We'll take out Blackout. And again, very slow play. Renox on the high ground. Can he do anything there? As Adamski does the wise thing, falls back, finds himself a Blackout. I know Blackout. Adam does this a lot. Like, he tries to, tries to flank the other team, but it never seems to work out for him. He always seems to give away kills. Mm hmm He's going to have the advantage of having the yeah. power there. Yeah. Got a good nade on him. Damski and the Wolves have finally managed to take the advantages again this. Come on, guys. What's <laughs> going on, production? We can do better than that. Finally finds the Blackout all by himself. Can't follow, follow finish up beyond Renox. Oh, there blackout is... jumped back out and killed yeah. him. That's a pretty bold move. Mm -hmm. Well, he wanted to go for, yeah. the, for the custom, so that was going to be critical. Adam's just looking for the spawns right now. I think they spawned up in the, in the, in their attic. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of slow-paced tactical play going on by both teams. Do neither team again wants to yield any ground whatsoever to the other. And kills are extremely sporadic. 28 to 21 right now in favor of the Western Wolves. 
That right they're, there. They're slowly edging away, but it's yeah. still pretty close, and anything can happen. It, it, it's only going to take one ra uh, one uh, rocket pickup yeah. for French to come back, but the rocket is going to be up soon. Yeah, it'll be up at nine ten. Yeah, but so will sniper as well. So you might see, you might see Western Wolves trying to get sniper so they can cover the rockets. Mm -hmm. Some very again very slow pace gameplay here. Niter team, well, so far twenty nine to twenty four. The friends are coming back. Relic going for face. Shields are down. And falls back immediately. Knows Adamski pretty much team instantly realizes there's going to be two there. Yeah. Falls back Must to the rest of his team. Moves team. Yeah. Communication is key, gentlemen. Wins you games. Adam trying to flank again. This time he got away, but though. Rockets are going to be up soon, so he's going to be trying to get in position to actually cover them. He knows there's going to be two. Can he get Blackout here? Oh. Oh, unlucky. They knew, knew that Talik and Blackout were both there. This is going to be a pickup right there. Um, as the rockets just spawned, Renux is going to try to go for it. Ooh. Damski almost managed to take that between the teeth. And this is going to be two kills with the Sally enough. One wasted rocket by the French. And now the Wolves once again taking the rocket under control. The French have it actually. I don't know how they got it, but they managed to get the rockets into their attic. Interesting. <laughs> Did the rifle just jump up, the fly I up have or no something? Idea. This Ragdoll itself. Was there. One minute's gone. Next mm -hmm. minute's gone. And so the Wolves also will get the custom that time around. Custom's a good thing to have, especially soon with the new settings. Like it's a lot more powerful, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it can be taken out pretty easily if you team shoot. Mm -hmm. Behemoth once again on the drop. It's currently 41 to 32. It's nine frags remaining here for the lineup of the Wolves. Again, the pacing has increased slightly because the French team suddenly realized, wait a minute, we cannot allow them to get ahead. Yeah. So they need to be a little bit more confrontational, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Is it pack? Is it working out? Not really so far. There is a six-point difference. Oh, but then Adamski does that. Pu trying to pummel somebody from that lane uh, yeah, range, Adamski is that long. not going to work. <laughs> Oh, nicely he done. He a lot of shots there, but he still killed him. Renox will finish him off on that one. Pistol still top fragging so far for the Wolves. Uh, Damski should... That's oh, that should be a pickup. That's a big change of pistol compared to the last time he played this map. The last time he struggled to get any kills until halfway through the game. He was literally on zero kills until 25 kills. Black uh, Adamski yeah. getting a sick little triple there to finish things off. One, two, three, DMR. And that right there is going to wrap up here on map number two. Now, as, uh, Team Slayer will be the end of that. What a sick little player at the end there to finish it all off. The French decided to go all in. Yeah, this didn't work out for them though. Nope. And decided to, uh, to, to rush the beaches, but this time it wasn't going to happen. Minus five for Baxter, minus nine for Behemoth. Yeah, Behemoth, once again, like he managed to play like one good game yeah. on the previous one, on the, the CTF. But so far, not so good at all. King of the Hill. Uh, what do you reckon? Is gonna tr Katrina going to come back and magically uh, magically do it, or are they going to drink the proverbial juice? And yeah, I don't think go it's down. looking good for Katrina. Like Western Wolves are really good at King and Hill game taps. They, mm -hmm. they, they, they won against us with King and, King and Hill and Nexus, so I'm not sure if that's the same map that they're playing, but if it is, then they're going to have a hard time winning. Western Wolves seem like a more structured team to play against. Mm -hmm. like, Whereas Katrina, like, they're good individually, but it seems like the communication isn't on, isn't on par with Western Wolves. Mm -hmm. The French ship is starting to slowly but steadily sink underneath their feet. And the iceberg that is the Western Wolves is, well, happily floating away. Yeah. That is quite a shame on that behalf. Sadly enough, uh, earlier in this tournament, we did see KFR sadly underperforming, but that was against you guys. And in all honesty, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's kind of... Comparing apples with or apples with oranges so uh, in that that ends. Like I'm trying to boost your ego a little bit more than it already is. So I don't have an ego. No, it's okay. I'm modest. Yeah, that's, <laughs> your brother's pretty nice as well, yeah. actually. So it's all good. So uh, let's get underway. It's gonna be King of the Hill. Let's see how this is going to come together. MVP Pistol Baxter and Adamski versus none other than Katrina with Katrina Super coming out with Renox Behemoth. Talik and Blackout would potentially be the last round. Take it away. 
Oh no, Behemoth, will you be the first one to fall? Here on King of the Hill. Yeah, never mind. Damski will pick up the first one. Behemoth will be the first one to drop as well. And Z no, never mind. Goes down in a blaze of glory. Doesn't matter though, because the focus is really on the hill. Nobody has taken control of the hill so far. I wouldn't be surprised if Western Wolves just try and kill, kill the other team a lot more. They did it against uh, the Germans as well. Like, they, I think they won 250 to about 80, but they took their time getting hill time. They, they knew they could outslay the other team. Uh, so far, not so good. Adamski with a little cheeky little spot there. Nobody's ever going to expect him to sit in there. And there is the... You know, he's trying to lock down the spawns. Oh, never mind. There's Talik. Who actually managed to get the snipe? Because I think it was right there. Because yeah. yeah. normally you would see a rush for the snipe yeah, right, it's right off the bat. Yeah. Three down from Katrina right now. The thing about this map is that wherever you spawn, it's quite easy to see the hill. So the hill guy has to be really, really observant with what he does. He can't just sit on the hill and expect to get time. Katrina going to be spawning on police side right now. Like, uh, I, can, I can see Western Wolves being really aggressive on the spawn. They just not letting him even near the hill. With 13 minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. New snaps coming up right about now. Yeah, they should be up right now. Yeah, indeed. And the rush should be going on. But the KFR actually doing quite well here. Even though it's four down for Wolves yeah, just now. And Adamski is just, yeah, going for a drink. <laughs> Again, play style extremely, Heal extremely control. slow, and they're just having real, real trouble. The positioning from KFR yeah. so far has been absolutely sublime. Well, the French have a sniper right now, and it's that, they seem to be having good map control. Mm -hmm. They just they, they shut down Adam before he, he can get halfway across the map. Uh -huh. Good map knowledge, good map feeling there, map sense. Knowing exactly where the spawns are going to be. And Damski once again trying very, very strongly. There we go. He needs to wait for the recharge. Blackout comes in, finishes the job, and it's 35 to 3rd, 28. But it's, it's the wolves close, are yeah. The, yeah. The wolves are slowly but steadily encroaching, really, on the KFR Bastion. Ill control. Ill control. Well, not yeah. There we go. I think this will be the last time you see Oasis in, in the game taps as well. Like, most of the MOG players don't seem to like it. Yeah, there was a lot of chat actually uh, going on in the actual chat channel where <laughs> people were like, huh, Oasis, eh? That's yeah. not all that interesting. Well, we have no other game taps at the moment. Well, like, we haven't tested any, so we thought we might as well stick to this. Yeah. For, like, one more event. And it's going to be a while till uh, the Durango comes out for Halo 4, yeah. so that, that'll be... I, I would not be surprised if Halo 4 is going to be a launch title for uh, the yeah, new Xbox. Uh, I hope so. I just hope that Halo 4 is going to be a lot better than Halo Reach. Mm. Maybe as good as Halo 2? Uh, I hope so, but <laughs> Halo 2 had its flaws, flaws as well. As, as much as most people won't admit to it, but it did. I just hope that like Halo 4 has a lot of support from the actual people that make it. Yeah, well, it's not Bungie, sadly yeah. enough, so that's definitely not going to help, but we'll have to see how that all pans out. 47 so far for the Wolves as uh, Katrina barely coming by with 34. Blackout in a bit of a pickle. And the snipe is in Adamski's hands. Oh dear. Uh, pistol really Baxter and Pistol both. Teammates, but. Uh, behemoth uh. facing. And gets shut down by Baxter for his arrogance. Both power weapons under control. Both the grenade as well as the snipe. Bam. Thank you for coming. It's quite interesting that you're staying in here with Snapper. Yeah, you, you don't have much vision. Yeah, most of the time, if, if one of our teammates has a snap, we'll just kind of tell him to get out of the hill and we'll take his place, but I don't think Western Wolves are that, that worried about it. Well, they seem to be fairly... Oh, they seem to be fairly convinced that they can continue all along this line. How long do they have? Ooh, hello, Behemoth. They got a good 30 seconds there with uh, Adam and Hill snap. Which is pretty good considering you're snapping. Yeah, 33, uh, 34 seconds on the clock. Advantage for the Wolves with two down. 
There's still a lot of time. What would Katrina need to do in order to come back from this? Um, they need to really just get map control. Like They need to make sure that West Wolves can't get near enough to the hill to actually get any time. Mm -hmm. And when they do, they've got to take him out really quickly. They can't just let them sit in the hill, because every second will count towards them again. Absolutely. Well, so far, oh, three down now. It's just MVP standing. Yeah, MVP's this... a bit annoying to play against, though. Like, even when it's last man, he'll do anything he can to stop you from getting hill time or doing it like to win. It'll be annoying. Pain. Yeah. It'll be a pain in the ass, Pretty basically. Much, yeah. yeah. Oh, Talik with a bit of a pop goes the weasel moment there. Never mind, as uh, Pistol will take him down. Behemoth, in the meantime, is falling back, trying to not die for once. 77 versus 41. New, sni new sniper's up and so is Grenade Launcher. I think Adam's, Adam's going to get Grenade Launcher. Yeah, there which it is. I think it's one of his favorite weapons. He just, he just does pick it up. It's because it's <laughs> yeah, point blank. Yeah. Yeah, because it's such a fun weapon, yeah. let's be honest. Oh, that's the his force to DMR. Ooh, he could take down Behemoth right here. Sadly, well, the rest of his team do seem to have control of the map. Let's see if he can pop out some more grenades. Hello, Renox. Should have been tagged up by that. See, they can't let, they can't let Western Wolves do this. If, if Katrina wanted to actually do well, they have to get them out of the hill straight away. Yeah. But they're just not doing it. Well, it's because there's a man with a grenade launcher yeah. holding them back through the funnel. You can always shoot from far back, though. Grenade launcher is not that good long uh, range. That's a good point. But 100 versus 42, that's a 58-point advantage right yeah. there. With two men down versus three. They're just getting chunks of hill time at a time. Whereas yeah. when, it, when Katrina do get hill time, they get a second or two, then they get killed straight away. And remember, this is if the if Katrina loses here, they will be knocked out of the tournament or at least into the placement brackets. Yeah. If there's actually if they're actually going to be played or not, we'll have to see. I believe they are, but those matches are sadly not going to be streamed. Right after this, we're going to roll straight in towards the next match, which should be Werewolf, Werewolves. Werewolves. <laughs> there Wolves I do it again. Yeah. Western Wolves. My apologies. Versus SK. Yeah. That should be a good matchup. Both teams, that they've got a bit of rivalry because one of SK's players was the next Western Wolves player. He left them for no reason at Why, all. You mean Blackjack? Blackjack, yeah. yeah. Just one day out of nowhere, he's like, yeah, I'm leaving. Just, really? Yeah. He had no real reason to do it. And he's even said that to people. He, has no real, he had no real reason to do it. But Interesting. So there was no, no contractual play there no. from SK? Because SK are, are known to do, like, like they, they know they're known to steal <laughs> players away from other clans. It's like... If you have ever if you ever if you ever followed the 1.6 Counter Strike community, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Back into this game, but one 105 on the clock right now for our Wolves. Well, on the other hand, the French are having troubles trying to domesticate them into just regular dogs. Even though the gap's nearly not that big, only 30 points with six minutes on the clock. So that is definitely a lot of time still remaining. The next two matches, the, one, the ones that are still standing, should be absolute blowout matches, great yeah. matches. Both the final as well as the lower bracket final. Yeah, it's, the, it's the, like the best, teams that are, that the best teams will be left in the event store, and you'll see, you should see some good play. Absolutely. That is definitely a, one thing that I am looking for. It's still great that Katrina made it this far, though. They came top four, like no one predicted them to make it this far. <laughs> So the French have done well this event. This event. It's, it almost seems like the KFR team are not really, not really focusing on that objective yeah. and just going for the KD instead. You see that with quite a lot of French players. I don't know why, but they seem to be more worried about trying to like either like embarrass the other team by like outplaying them. Oh, no, no, we will embarrass you yeah. with our baguettes yeah. and it croissants. It's happened at events before where they don't mind if they lose as long as they get a few like out BRs in you or snap you a few times. But it's each the priorities, I guess. Yeah. I guess. It's like you can snipe me. I'll take two hundred. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the five hundred euros. Yeah. It's all good. One, one day to them. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> maybe one day. Yeah. We'll have to see. Also, I think these these guys are kind of like they're happy yeah. with the placement so far. They're happy they got top four. They, they seemed over the moon after they beat uh, Enigma. Like they, all of them jumped up and screamed at the other team. And I think they're just really, really, really like, kind of proud of themselves to beat Exception and Cinder and Thank you. They're supposed to be like the best French players, and they mm. beat them. Go back to all the, all the French friends and tell them how good they play. <laughs> With only 10 seconds remaining needed here on the clock. Well, that's pretty much it. Double kill. And double kill comes out from Radamski. Oh, as the hill yeah, just despawns. 
I don't think he was worried about the heal. He's trying to get the sniper again. Yeah, there we go. Are we maybe going to finally see something from the French lineup? I doubt we will. Something's got to happen fast, otherwise they're not going to win. Would it, do you, would it, on paper, it's possible. Yeah, but... But un, improbable. Yeah, like, I, don't, I can't see Western Wolves losing, like, like dying that much in a row. Like, they had actually, like, mm -hmm. two or three times in a row for Katrina to catch up. Yeah. And I just can't see it happening. With one more clock remaining, and there we have it. It is going to be a 3-1, a 3-0. Why watch at this rate? Because, yeah. to be honest, with those 100 points remaining, it's just, with four yeah, minutes, seriously, there's like a 70-point difference right there. It's just so much time. That is, and they're, and the, the clock keeps on ticking, ticking, yeah. and ticking. It's not working for them. It's working against them, definitely. So far, Ill control. But let's be honest. The uh, the Katrina team has put themselves up vi uh, violently. They have been playing very well so far. Ill They've got knocked out of round two in a tournament. Yeah. They find themselves in the semi-final of the lower bracket, Ill or at least no one expected yeah. it at all. Absolutely yeah. not. It's, uh, let's let's uh, let's take a look at there. They were, uh, I believe, they were. Yeah, they were seventh. Yeah. Predicted. Now they're at least going to be fourth yeah. in the tournament, and that is definitely a performance that is pretty good. Because you come in towards an yeah. event, and you have a, you have a certain expectation. And pretty much, if you speak to any of the top teams, you, they would have like most most of them would have said it'd be Western Wolves, SK, Enigma, mm -hmm. and Apex, our, our team in the top four. Mm -hmm. But Enigma has been beaten by these guys. Exactly. After, I spoke to Zarius after the, after, the, after the series, and he seemed really uh, unhappy about losing to them, but at the same time, K Katrina must have played a lot better in the last game. Mm -hmm. but sadly enough, not good enough for this series. It's 188 versus 96, which is the opposite of 69. Yeah, it's pretty much game over for the French right now. Obvious, obvious I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't obvious. be surprised if uh, Western Wolves start trying to go for kills now. Mm -hmm. Well, they could be respectable and try and win the game, but I don't know. With only 50 seconds, uh, with only 50 seconds needed by the Wolves, with a 100 point difference. It's not going to happen anymore. Yeah. There's simply it. not. And right there is the <laughs> end of the uh, of the round. They may as well say good game. Stand up from their controllers they might because play. this they is might it. Stay up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, want, they, they still want to make want to make those those honorable headshots yeah. on them. Just they get to, some good stats. Exactly, because stats are everything, yeah. gentlemen. Cool. As in the meantime, there is a discussion going on in the chat about which kind of women are better. What do you mean in terms uh, of like like Asians, uh, white women, Latinas? Euro European, like from going to European events, European women are so much better looking than UK UK girls, in my opinion. Mm. Well, there are there are obviously some exceptions to yeah. the rule, but there's always exceptions, <laughs> of course. Especially Swedish, I I do enjoy. Yes, Danish as well. <laughs> Denmark is kind of like the Canada of Europe. Yeah, it's like nobody really knows anything about them. <laughs> They're kind of like Holland, but really really nice. Yeah, and they they don't have like the whole drugs thing going on there, but whatever. Well, uh, have you ever been to Denmark? No, I should. Copenhagen's quite nice. Uh, it's like <laughs> may, may brought you in part by the travel commission of Copenhagen. Thank you. As uh, this game has been played, it was played a long time ago. Nothing's gonna happen here anymore. This is all pretty much the end of this. Ill control. And yeah, you, you can't really say you can you cannot add any anything much anymore yeah. to this. I'm really looking forward to what's next round. I'm really looking forward to what's the uh, the Wolves versus the SK. This should be close games because we beat uh, Western Wolves 3-1 and we beat SK 3-0. So mm -hmm. like, 
We beat them both at about the same, so they should be kind also of... Also on the same maps? Um, no, different maps, but still, like, they should be kind of evenly matched. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, exactly. So that's definitely, that could be one of the more, uh, one of the most exciting matches yeah. in the tournament. We already had a couple of really, really nice ones. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm sure the grand final with you guys is going to be really, really exciting as well, depending on who is going to play. If you guys meet the where, uh, <laughs> if you guys meet the wolves in the final, yeah. neither of you will get an advantage or a disadvantage, considering you haven't met each other. At we did. We have met each other. D never we, mind. We, I'm we being pretty, a tit. Yeah. Just now, three, three to one. Yeah. <laughs> so you get a two map advantage. If you meet SK, you're going to have, gonna have a three nil advantage. Yeah. So SK would be the preferable opponent yeah. there. But I would like to be Baxter again. Mm. So it's, I don't really mind it's, either way. Yeah. It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a mm, rivalry, I guess. Yeah. Then fair enough. Fair enough. We're gonna be back very very soon, and uh, we're gonna try to get in towards next match. Maybe get a couple of interviews going on. If we can get some of the French players that actually speak English, which I really doubt. Uh, they They're, can speak uh, some English. Well, yeah, yeah, some English. So they like, say yes. Like I'm, okay. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I can speak some English yeah. as well, like that sort of thing. Like I'm sure I can speak some French. So we're going to try to... speak French to them? No, no. <laughs> je n'ai pas parlé français. Parlez-vous français? No? 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 Okay, bon. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to figure out what is going on on I'm that English. front. I'm English. Oh, yeah, of course. English. Well, you owned half yeah. of France uh, uh, at one yeah. point, so... I just shout and hope they understand me. Ex yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because shouting, the yeah. universal, yeah. universal communicator. Exactly. I'll speak slowly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll go for yeah. a quick break here on Reflex GT Season 8. It's time for Halo, and we're going to go and uh, get ready for that lower bracket final. It is going to be SK versus the Wolves. Whoever wins there is going to move on towards the grand final, where they will meet none other than Apex. Do we have anything else to add to our wonderful stream for today? Um, just thank you to Apex for sending us to this event all right. and all of our sponsors. Fair enough. And also, I guess, to, to everybody that, that, that follows, us, follows us on Twitter and like our fans. Mm -hmm. like We love you guys, and we love all the support that we get. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back with you here on the stream.